Steve Smith, what an absolute freak. The man just seems to make runs for fun. Every time he bats at the moment, it seems like he makes yet another 100. But cast your mind back to when Steve was about this high, 10 years of age maybe, and he made his very, very first 100. Let's go back to a young Stevie Smith. What drew you to the game of cricket for the very first time? How old were you when this game sort of took hold of you, mate? I reckon I was about uh, four years old, I think, when I, I first picked up a cricket bat. Um, and, yeah, I kind of just never let it go. Uh, I loved it ever since. And, um, yeah, I, I just always enjoyed it. And, you know, a bit of a funny story, actually. I, I went round to my, my parents' house last night for, for dinner and um, they're, they're uh, currently in the process of moving out of our family home and uh, dad found a scorecard of my first uh, first hundred I ever scored um, <laughs> I think he posted it on Instagram uh, today um, <laughs> it was a uh, I've got 124 not out at the ground about 300 meters from my house um, where I used to do all my training and stuff as a kid so yeah, in the process of moving, Dad found this, and it was, um, you know, he showed me yesterday. It was pretty, pretty special, and just sort of took me back to, you know, as a kid and just loving it and, and enjoying it. That's fantastic. Who were you playing for? How old were you? What are your memories of your first hundred? Do you remember it? Of course you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, was Illawong Menai. Was the club? Um, it was the under ten A's? So it would have been. I think I was nine. Um, and yeah, uh, 124 not out. Um, yeah, I just remember getting to the ground nice and early. I, I always did when I played at home. I'd walk up the street. It was about 300 metres away and <laughs> just get there and get myself ready to go. I was always always pumped on a Saturday morning to get out and play with, with my mates and um, yeah, just enjoy the game really. So it was a pretty special moment to score, you know, 100 as a nine-year-old and my first one. So um, yeah, it was pretty cool. What bat would you have been using back then? Oh, geez. Um, I think I had a a Gunner Moore Cannon Professional. I reckon it was <laughs> the old Steve nice. Moore bat. Yes. <laughs> can you remember? Can you remember trips to? Was there a certain sports shop? I think for every young cricketer, they remember those trips with delight when mum or dad would say right today we can go and look at bats whether it was the greg chapel catalogue or yeah. going to the shop well what are your memories of that mate yeah i got lots of fun memories um we used to go to kingsgrove sports oh yeah um so dad used to play uh cricket with uh harry solomon's the owner there so um we used to go in and, and look for a bat and I'd always say these are the ones I like, the couple of stickers, and then he'd he'd, he'd grab a whole heap of them and grab a mallet and hit the hit the ball, uh, hit the mallet on the bat, and he'd always say, yeah, that one's got good ping, or um, you know, this one's no good, and we'd sort of eliminate the process to the the, the ones that I liked, and um, yeah, it was always pretty cool when you you got a new bat, um, yeah, pretty special. I think Mark War might have worked way back at that. Kingsgrove I think Sports. both Steve and Mark were right. there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't know how much Junior would have been doing there, but anyway. So <laughs> what was it about the game? You said you picked up at, about at the age of four. I'm lucky enough, as you know, to deal with a lot of athletes. And the majority love the game. Some are a bit jaded by the game. Like talking to you when you're at the cricket and you're about to play, it's like you're still 10 years old. You've just got this boyish enthusiasm for playing <laughs> cricket, which you still have today, which is a wonderful thing. What was it about the game that first gave you that, Steve? Uh, I don't know. Just the a bat and a ball and a, just a, a ball coming down at me and, you know, having to hit it. I think, it, I don't know, I just enjoyed doing that and, um, yeah, just, just loved it. It was always that or a tennis racket and a tennis ball um, in the off-season. So always kept my hand-eye coordination up that way. But, um, I don't know, just the, the feeling of something coming at me and, and having to hit it, I just always loved it um whether it was a cricket ball or a tennis ball or or what so um yeah i don't know i just just always loved it and continually hit uh, i remember i had a um i had a a string um sorry a, ball, a cricket ball and a string in the garage yep. um that i used to hit and dad had to put something on the roof because i kept going through the roof with the ball and um you know you just see all these red cherries up on the roof it didn't look very good uh, it wasn't very aesthetically pleasing but um you know it was there to, to help me just 
play cricket and, and love it. And, um, you know, I used to hit balls for, for hours on end. Hey guys, Howie here. Thank you so much for watching the Howie Games YouTube channel. We really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you watch plenty more clips. Now, if you want to get the full podcast from the clip you've just heard, you can see the full link on the description. If you want to subscribe to the Howie Games YouTube channel, which we would love, just click on the button below. And if you want to see more content from the Howie Games, over to your right, all the clips are there. Thank you once again so much. And as always, peace and love.